Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Droid Tips. In this video, we are going to talk about how to fix Bluetooth is not working on your Asus ROG Ally. So this particular issue is happening for many of the users and we're going to talk about some of the possible workaround how to fix the Bluetooth is not working on the Asus ROG Ally and how we can fix this app. So I'm going to show you some of the possible workaround which can be done. So the first one is all about, you have to make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on. That is what you have to do. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. Now go for settings. Sorry. Just go over here in the search. Go for settings. Now from here in the settings, you have to go to Bluetooth and device. First one is make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. Actually right now this is turned off. So you have to make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on. This is the first step. This is what you have to do or do a cross check from your side. The first and foremost step is all about we need to make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. After this the Bluetooth is turned on. The next one is all about we have to try re remove the devices which already connected and re-add it back which can be done on the same place. Right now, as you can see, there are no things are added early. So what you need to do is for those who are watching this, if anything is added, you have to remove it first. After remove it first, you have to go over here in the add device option. We can see this particular option, add device. Tap on this add device. Now from here, we just need to go for Bluetooth over here and you have to add it back once again. So once you add the respective devices, most probably they should be completely fixed because it worked for many users, so you can try the same. Once you add in the device back and still the issue is there and you're having a lot of trouble, we need to talk about the next step. Next step is all about we need to verify the Bluetooth functions are enabled. So to do the Bluetooth functions are enabled, we have to go over here in the search and we need to go to device manager. So I have already searched for device manager or you can search for device manager afterwards. So let me tap on the recent one. So that may take me to the device manager. Now this is how it looks like by default. So from here, you have to navigate to Bluetooth over here. Just go to the Bluetooth and right now select the respective Bluetooth. For example, Xbox wireless controller. Let me select this one, press and hold like this. So once, as you can see, there is an option called enable device. So if the Bluetooth is disabled by default or accidentally, if you uh, disable it, then the next time when you're trying to connect it back, it won't work. So it is very important that you have to enable the device. So you need to tap on enable the device, okay? So once you enable the Bluetooth over here, you can see this, most probably you'll be having an option to uh, make sure if it is disabled, you have to enable it. So if it's already enabled, so right now this is enabled. So that is why I'm getting the option for disable this. So if it is disabled over here, you will be getting an option like this. So let me show you once again. So if it is there, just press and hold like this. So go for enable device. You'll be getting an option to enable device. So just go for enable the device. Right now this is enabled. Okay, so this is what you have to do. So we need, we just need to do a cross check whether it is enabled or not. After trying with this, if the issue still persists, we can try with the next one. That is all about we have to do a restart on your Asus ROG Ally. For this, we just need to go over here, tap on this start. Now go over here in this icon and there is an option called restart. So just go for a restart and see whether the issue is solved or not. Even after trying with this, the issue is still persisting and you're not able to fix this up. So how we can fix this up is the next questions. And the next one is all about we need to run the Bluetooth troubleshooter. So that can be done very easily. Just go over here in the search. We need to navigate to settings over here. Now once you navigate to the settings, you have to go to the system at the top. Now scroll down and navigate to troubleshoot option. Over here you can see the troubleshoot option, tap on this one. Now from here there is an op option called other troubleshooters, tap on this one. And now we get many options like audio, network, internet, print internet, etc. And even if you scroll down, you can see there is another option so like background intelligent transfer service, Bluetooth, camera, etc. So just tap on the Bluetooth and you have to go for run over here in the Bluetooth. So when you go for run over here in the Bluetooth, what happens is now from here, what you need to do is we just need to go over here in the Bluetooth, go for run over here in the Bluetooth. And once you're done with the Bluetooth, I mean the troubleshoots are done, you'll be cross-checking yourself whether you're going through any kind of issue, then it will be fixing. That is what you have to do. Once you're done with everything over here, you're done with every, these steps and still the issues there, the next one is all about we need to 
try uninstalling and reinstalling the Bluetooth driver. So this worked for many users, so we can try this out. So just go over here in the search once again. You have to go to device manager over here. When you go to the device manager, you have to navigate to the Bluetooth. Let me select the Bluetooth. You have to expand this. Now from here, you have to select the respective uh, Bluetooth which you wanted. And there is an option called update driver. So you need to tap on update driver. So they're going to ask you the question, search automatically for drivers. Browse my computer to for the drivers. So go for search automatically for drivers. Right now, it, sh it shows that the best drivers for a device is already installed, which means it's already updated. So you're fine with us. So if you're getting any kind of update, you just need to update it. And once after updating the Bluetooth driver, you have to cross check whether the issue is solved or not. Still, you are having the issue and the issue is not sorted. And still, you are having a lot of issues like Bluetooth is still not working. The next one is all about you need to check for the support team like you have to talk to the support team and they're gonna help you guys out and also you can parallelly do you can also try updating the windows update so just go over here in the search and go for settings once you go for settings over here you can go to the windows update so you have to make sure the windows is up to date so if you're having any update pending updates like cumulative update or any kind of updates are there what you need to do is you just need to update to the latest version because sometimes update can fix the issue regarding Bluetooth issue. So you can try this out. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when you're having an issue with Bluetooth is not working or it is not connecting on Asus ROG Ally. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.